President Kufuado uh, has arrived at the square for the commissioning of some 307 ambulances to 275 constituencies. And we shall remain standing for the national salute. National salute! Salute! Shortly, His Excellency the President will inspect a guard of honor mounted by the Emergency Medical Technicians Unit of the National Ambulance Service. The parade commander makes his way to... Guard of Honor mounted by the Emergency Medical Technicians of the National Ambulance Service. Two Advanced Emergency Medical Technicians, one Senior Emergency Medical Technician, and nine to six rank and five. In attendance is the Ghana National Fire Service Band. Ready, special. Advanced Emergency Medical Technician, Slater Davoy Anini reporting, Mr. President. We commit this commissioning ceremony to your loving care and may you bring, you bring it to a successful conclusion. In Jesus' name, I pray and bless you. Amen. Thank you very much for the Christian prayer. The Ghana Traditional Council will give us the traditional prayer. Akago, 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 hey, Menashi, Menashi, Jufo, Nima, Jufo, Nama, Jufo, Wobola, my Wobola, my Wobola, 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 Wobola,
She won a president, Papa. Na eko a mama kwa kwa bu. Nye do mase fre. Nye wa froba. Nye ke shu eno. E bi a wala. E ho a wala. E meni eke kura ma fe a me wala e. A me wala. E fon fe ni baba le o se e. Ne e kwa ba shu e wami shi. Chwa anu manja bra o gwa fe ko chwa anu. No more. Belem for the third and the traditional council. We are grateful to you for your traditional prayers. You have prayed for long life and prosperity for the Republic. You have prayed for the president and the vice president, all constituents. The parade commander will march off the parade, even as we prepare to take the welcome.
as the parade commander marches off the parade, we will get ready to invite the chief executive of the National Ambulance Service, Professor Ahmed, Professor Ahmed Nuhu Zakaria, to join us with a welcome. We shall invite Professor Ahmed Nuhu Zakaria for the welcome address and a history of the national. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Ado Dankwa Akufu Ado. Your Excellency, the, President, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, Al Haji Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. The Honorable Chief of Staff, Mrs. Ekosua Frema Ose Opari. The Minister for Health, Honorable Kweku Ajman Menu. The Minister for Special Development Initiatives, Honorable Mavis Hawa Kumsin. Honorable Ministers of State, Members of Parliament, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the National Ambulance Service, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry for Special Development Initiatives, His Excellency the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, and His Excellency the President of the Republic of Ghana, I welcome you all to today's historic event. Mr. President, please permit me to thank you and to express my profound gratitude to you for giving me this unique opportunity and singular honor to stand before you today to deliver a speech on the topic, the birth and growth of the National Ambulance Service at today's historic event of the commissioning of 307 new ambulances procured by the new patriotic party government under your able leadership. Mr. President, today is a great day for health delivery in Ghana, and everything good is achieved with some difficulties. Preparations towards today's event were tough. However, the National Ambulance Service was motivated by the following quotes. Quote number one, focus will is incredible, and that if you have a dream and you don't give up, no matter what obstacles come up, then life's problems will fall away and you will get what you want. It happens, it works, end of quote. The other quote that motivated us is that most of our obstacles will melt away if instead of cowering before them, we should make up our minds to walk boldly through them. We also do know, Your Excellency, that when you truly want success, you will never give up. You will never give up on it no matter how bad the situation may get. Mr. President, the nature and history of the National Ambulance Service is worth recounting on today's occasion. 
The emergency medical service system, and for that matter, the National Ambulance Service of Ghana, is dedicated to providing out-of-hospital acute medical care, transport to definitive care, and other medical transport to patients with illnesses and injuries which prevent the patients from transporting themselves. Mr. President, the concept of operations of the National Ambulance Service, which is based on the mission of NAS, is to provide integrated, high-quality, pre-hospital emergency and medical care, health transport and medical retrieval services to all people in Ghana. The National Ambulance Service achieves this through a system of trained operational staff and committed support staff. Mr. President, the major functions of the National Ambulance Service include the following. One, emergency medical response and out-of-hospital care. Emergency medical transport by road, non-emergency patient transport, major incident management and response. The others include retrieval of critically ill patients, provision of ambulance cover during public events, and community education on first aid. Mr. President, the 9th May 2001 stadium disaster, in which 127 sports enthusiasts died, provided the leverage for the establishment of the National Ambulance Service. The MPP government, led by His Excellency, then President John Ajekum Kufo, saw the need for the establishment of a nationwide, comprehensive pre-hospital emergency care system in Ghana. Accordingly, in his annual sessional address to Parliament in the year 2002, the President charged the Minister of Health and its collaborators to establish a nationwide ambulance service to provide effective pre-hospital care to trauma casualties and convey such victims to hospitals. Your Excellency, the necessary preparations, stakeholder engagements, and policies were put in place, which culminated in the establishment of the nucleus of the National Ambulance Service. The service started as a unit under the policy, plan, and monitoring evaluation, that is PPME unit of the Ministry of Health, in 2004, later progressed to a directorate, and has now attained an agency status with its headquarters in Accra. Your Excellency, with regards to ambulance stations, this is the history. The National Ambulance Service started with a pilot phase of seven stations in only three regions from 2004 to 2005. In 2006, the National Ambulance Service moved into full-scale operations with additional 12 stations, increasing the number to 19 stations in five regions. Your Excellency, in 2007, Five stations were added for the service to grow to 24 stations in the country. In 2008, five additional stations were added, making the number of stations 29. In 2009, 10 new stations were added, increasing the number to 39. In 2012, additional 83 stations were created, totaling 122 ambulance stations. In 2014, Four new stations were created, increasing the number to 126 stations. In 2015, Your Excellency, four stations were added, making the total number 130 stations. In 2016, two new stations were created, making the total number of stations stand at 132 stations. Your Excellency, I'm very happy to announce to the nation that following your bold leadership, this year, 2020, the National Ambulance Service will add 145 new stations. And a unitary number, which you'll be launching today, 112, is also going to be launched to replace the numerous different emergency numbers in the country. Your Excellency, please permit me to briefly take the audience through a few of the technical details as far as this 112 number system is concerned. This is how the system is going to operate after the launch. We have the sending a distress call by the user. The user has two options when in need of an ambulance. First option is calling 112 directly on your phone. The second option is calling or sending alerts on the Ghana Post GPS app. If you're using the first option, Calling 112 directly on your phone will require you to provide some information about your location, 
to allow for easy accessibility. Using the Ghana Post GPS app will automatically send your location, that's your digital address, to the ambulance service for a more reliable and easy accessibility. Now, if you're making a direct call on your phone with the 112, the caller dials 112 on the phone, the call is received at the command center, and this call is routed to the appropriate quarters, either the police, ambulance, fire, or NADMO, depending on your request. Alternatively, sir, the caller can access directly by going to the menu, select the ambulance, and send a distress message. This goes straight to the ambulance control center with the caller's location. The information is dispatched to the ambulance for response. In relation to the control center, the national control center has a bird eye view of all the ambulances in the country. All control centers have a bird eye view of all ambulances under their jurisdiction. Your Excellency, every control center has control over the usage of its ambulance and all activities are overseen by the National Control Center. Your Excellency, the activities therefore will include the following. Disarming and alarming the ambulance. This is enabled only if the ambulance is stationary. Geofencing the ambulance. That is allowing the ambulance to be used within a certain range. Your Excellency, setting the speed limit is also another option. And this will alert you when the ambulance overspeeds beyond the speed limit. Checking the daily route of an ambulance, accepting distress calls is also. When you get to the ambulance team app, in the ambulances will be the tablet. When you log in to activate the ambulance, the ambulance becomes available for the dispatch after login. When a dispatch alert is received, the ambulance unit clicks on response. The distress location is opened on a map on the tablet. The fastest route to the location of the distress caller is given. Ambulance can then be driven to the caller location. After turning to the distress, the ambulance unit writes a report on the distress situation and submits the control center. After the submission, the ambulance is available for dispatch again. Mr. President, we would like to express our appreciation, sincerest gratitude to you and your government for these huge investments in the area of pre-hospital care services. And with the procurement of 307 new ambulances, the highest fleets ever to have been procured at a go in the history of emergency medical service system in Africa, definitely the face of EMS in Ghana is going to change forever. The emergency medical system is going to receive a major boost and a tremendous improvement in the quality of care to be provided. Mr. President, we promise to use these vehicles with utmost care and skill. We promise to provide prompt emergency response pre-hospital care, specialized transport, and patient transfer to the good people of Ghana. Above all, Your Excellency, we promise to take good care of these ambulances to ensure they are always fit for the purpose for which they have been procured. I would like to thank you once again, Mr. President, for fulfilling your promise to the nation and for providing the single biggest logistical support to the National Ambulance Service in its 60 years of existence. Before I end my speech, Your Excellency, I would like to mention that our emergency medical technicians will be demonstrating to you through a simulation exercise the type of care that they provide to patients and activities that take place in the pre-hospital setting. We wish you God's continuous guidance and protection in all your undertakings. God bless you, Your Excellency, and your government. God bless Madagana. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Zakaria, Chief Executive of the National Ambulance Service. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the Minister responsible for the Ministry of Special Development Initiatives, the Honorable Mavis Hawa Kumsen. Let's receive her with a round of applause. Thank you. I want to add my voice to that of the National Ambulance CEO to welcome His Excellency here. 
His Excellency, President of the Republic. His Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic. The Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament. The Chief of Staff. Minister for Health and Deputy Minister for Health. Colleague Ministers present. Your Excellencies, members of the Diplomatic Corps, National Chairman and General Secretary of NPP, members of Parliament, CEO of National Ambulance Service, my able CEOs of the three development authorities, Nananom, distinguished invited guests, our good friends from the media, Ladies and gentlemen, today I consider myself as the happiest person on earth. I am elated because after days, weeks, and months of hard work, in the midst of speculations, our dream has been realized. I am particularly happy today again because the vision of the president to resource the emergency care system and increase the fleet of ambulances for the service has been fulfilled. I know the president shares our excitement because his dream of realizing an efficient pre-hospital emergency medical service has made a very significant advancement. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are aware, my ministry was mandated by His Excellency the President to procure, this, to procure for this country new ambulances through the One Constituency, One Ambulance Project under the Infrastructure for Poverty Eradication Program, IPED. It is my prayer that the management and staff of Ghana Ambulance service will make good use and maintain them properly. As required, I have a firm assurance from the CEO to that effect. As stated above, these fully equipped, ambul equipped ambulances need proper care and regular maintenance. Management, operation, and maintenance manual have also been prepared for them. The drivers and officials of the service have been adequately trained on the use of the vehicle as well as handling of the equipment thereof. Those training seasons were done by the manufacturers from Turkey. Your Excellency, permit me to remind the good people of this country that it is the first major and highest intervention by successive governments. The purchase of these 307 states of the arts and fully equipped ambulances is a product of a close collaboration between our ministry, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Finance, Bank of Ghana, and Ghana and the National Ambulance Service under the supervision of the Vice President. Mr. President, I will also want to mention that all procurement process were duly followed. Let me seize this opportunity to thank Your Excellency, President of the Republic, the Vice President, and the Chief of Staff for this vision. May God bless the good people of this country. Thank you and welcome. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. The Honorable Mavis Hawakumsen. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, please join me to welcome to the podium the Minister responsible for health, the Honorable Kweku Ajima Menu. Let's receive him with a round of applause. Thank you, thank you, my colleague Minister for Information. Your Excellency, the President, 
of the Republic, Nanado Dankwa Kufuadu. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic, Alhaji Dr. Muhammad Baumia, Madam Chief of Staff, my colleague Minister for Special Development Initiatives, colleague ministers, deputy ministers, my good friend, the majority leader, who has just joined us after parliament, members of parliament, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. As the Minister for Responsible for Health, I must say I'm very glad that we are gathered here today to witness one of the NPP government's major social intervention policy programs that will see an improvement in healthcare delivery in our country. Obviously, accessibility to healthcare is going to improve tremendously with the deployment of these 307 new ambulances. And I must confess that since taking over as the Minister responsible for health, a major headache I have had has been how to support the National Ambulance Service to improve on its emergency response capabilities. I inherited a service that had personnel but no adequate number of vehicles to be relied upon to respond to emergencies in the country with a high degree of capability and efficiency. We all do know that people's lives often depend on the quick reaction and competent care of emergency medical technicians and paramedics. Incidents as varied as automobile accidents, heart attacks, slips and falls, even childbirth, and gunshot, gunshot wounds require immediate medical attention. Emergency medical technicians and paramedics provide these vital services as they care for and transport the sick or injured to a medical facility. These vital functions cannot be performed without ambulances. It is therefore refreshing to see the President's commitment in providing enough ambulances to ameliorate the situation of inadequate fleet. All efforts are going to be made to continuously support the National Ambulance Service to improve on quality of pre-hospital emergency care services. Your Excellency, we are not just providing ambulances, but we are building a holistic emergency response system it is in this regard that a unitary emergency number for all emergencies with the 112 number will be launched by His Excellency the President of the Republic. I would like to entreat the media to assist in the public education of the use of the 112 when launched to assess emergency care in times of need. As these ambulances are being distributed today, Please permit me, Your Excellency, to advise my colleague MPs and ministers. All the ambulances, all the ambulances are going to be manned by the National Ambulance Service. The service works in close collaboration with metropolitan, municipal, and district assemblies, health facilities, and all other emergency services to pave way for easy operationalization of these ambulances. We also do know that some constituencies are a bit behind in terms of their preparedness in receiving these ambulances. As these ambulances are going to be deployed today, I'll entreat all my colleague MPs, regional ministers, and metropolitan, municipal, and district chief executives to continue to collaborate with the National Ambulance Service, especially in places where well, the infrastructure is not ready to identify suitable places from where to operate until such times that the necessary facilities are made available. Any support that can be provided by you to the National Ambulance Service 
is more than welcome. And I'm aware that some of my colleagues MPs have actually provided some ambulances to their constituencies. We are going to add these to what we have done. But I will still entreat you to continue to give the support that we have been given in the past. I would like to call on the Director General of Ghana Health Service, the CEOs of the teaching hospitals, the regional directors of health services, as well as heads of all Ministry of Health agencies to cooperate and collaborate with the National Ambulance Service as they carry out their duties in providing pre-hospital care services in the country so that together we can all assist in building a comprehensive, effective, and efficient emergency response system for our country. On this note, Your Excellencies, I wish to end my speech. And once again, Mr. President, thank you and the Vice President for your personal commitment in ensuring that this laudable project became a success. Mr. President, I want to assure you that tonight I will sleep. And I'll beg for permission to be late a little bit tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, since after the deployment of the drones, or even during the deployment of the drones, I took a lot of bashing from parliament to radio stations to TV stations to several other media platforms. Now, we don't have ambulances, and we are deploying drones to fly blood and essential medicines. And I kept on telling people and the nation that the president is committing to deliver on his promises, and he will so do. Sir so President, let me thank you. You have justified my explanation. I thank you so much. That is the Honorable Minister responsible for health, Kweku Ajimamenu. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, if you are just joining us, we are at the ceremony for the commissioning and dispatch of the single largest fleet of ambulances to support pre-hospital emergency medical care and the Ghana Ambulance Service. Very shortly, His Excellency the President will address us. We are almost there. But Mr. President, I am informed by the Emergency Medical Technicians Unit of the Ghana Ambulance Service that they want to briefly demonstrate to you the services they will be offering across the 275 constituencies and the high incident routes here in our country. May I invite the EMT demonstration unit for their quick demonstration of the services that will be offered by these ambulance and EMT units nationwide. After that, His Excellency the President who committed to improve health care will speak to us. Your Excellency, we are about to witness a simulation exercise by the emergency medical technicians of National Ambulance Service. Omampenia Oti Edwem and Primprin Yebabe Dad Jumedi Ah National Ambulance Service for no etai a year or one pesiasuno at Rao. Currently we see a group of people going out on an early morning jogging as usual, chanting songs with a vibrant cheerleader approaching us. And such situations, because of the joy attached to it, uh, people forget themselves and even occupy the whole road. So your excellency we are about to witness what happens to this group of people as they jog along the road chanting songs. As usual this is a similitude of what really pertains to our call of duties at our various stations. Now, when a year you made ya, say BBC, you're tied down your home, Eddie, and you're a person who And so, just like our CEO said, this is an opportunity for us to exhibit what we can do, even as the fleet of ambulances have arrived. 
<laughs> Star of Life. Star so this group of people are chanting songs heavily, and then there's an oncoming vehicle, and because of the songs, they could not even hear, and then the vehicle runs in this, this group of people. Ah, etie fo se ye ha, se si ya e ye ka bi efi o nechi ya, abe kshi afa e ni pe adomne so, ah, at orange em no e si. In such states, there's hopelessness, there's despair amongst the people. Na e bani sa, e ye aman fo, e ta ye de de, wo su, wo te te, be bredi, e pra, e mu, e da, akwa, akwa. But in such situations, somebody recognizes the situation and calls for help using the 112, which has been activated. Na, e ye sa, wo fre 112 no, e ma, e system no, e nina ba, together. E ma, e ye, police for, e be bi, fire for, e be bi, ambulance for, ba, e na nadmo, se ni amu hun ya. So we see the arrival of police to take care of the situation, your excellency. Na, police for, e ba, e be me, ki shio se, wo di, wo nyo ma, be si si ho, na, ato renche mne, si wo kwenye mno, wo kreti, e kwenye ma, a ka a fo, fo fra, e ba, na, wo nsu kwa, me ki anfa, wo nso. Whilst the ambulance has also been called, and it's on the way coming. Na, Na, National Ambulance Service is so a control room so dispatching an ambulance for so a bit drew hobby. Yes, sir, see, the ambulance has arrived. It's neatly parked. Now, a gentleman steps out and he says, Excuse me, sir. Uh, can I have your license plate? Yes, sir. 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 So that the scene can be adequately prepared. Send your bear. We bet him a boa on a atorenche matunu a boa on. For proper care of the victims involved. Obabe tutu bibia seni beya wana wampra ni be frim seni amu se si no wabeko nechi na afi wama itimi aye juma ma wana atorenche mno atu amu ye. Hello. Those of you can hear me, I can walk. Please move this way. So he's uttering out some words go just to, to get the scene prepared. The are here to move to the ambulance. Now, yes, sir, or Tietia Mutre, one hour to rent a matu on the say, Wow, Timmy, Cano, sorry, Nabua, a year one hour prayer, will be to me Abua on Hong Hono. And this person is known as the incident commander. Nasa, Nipedia, Ojina, and Nime, Papa, your chef for our ambulance, Ejuma, Oyi Nipenim, no, on your friend, no, Nia Odi, Ejumadian, and him. Followed closely is a, another officer who is called a triage officer trying to sort out the patient with relation to their various level of injuries. Now, you who say ambulance penina friend a domni be a beca home. Ah, one day a yash and so dear a baby a you may be a war on our prana home. Excellency, currently he's tagging the patients according to their degree of injuries. Now, or by what they are saying so dear a yako call a cocos radia any a habamono a baby a you may be a boa one a torrential matuum. So the red signifies somebody who is critically in, injured and needs urgent attention. Oh, be a raya de coco no better than sano. And no trace, only a con a sepul to Priya, Cecia, and Prem Prem, Yadino, et Tumica, a co, a Yasabia, a cobuam, into one eye a day, a year, a sense of dear, a year, a cosra, the animal to one, one hour, your new and better than Hakakra, a year one way, Juma, and San and Prepemono, Yadu also a co, a Yasabia. And then those tagged with the green are what we call the walking wounded, who would also be attended to later on. Now, one hour, Penini by Otimi, you are more Montimi Boa, Mohonantino, one day, or the one Kogu, and a four near the Akoko, as I have by Mono. Any two one so one nine and now one sir. Due to the numerous numbers of victims, the ambulance, the incident commander has called for extra support. Now say a bani say ambulance penina or by no or two and crack or a yen the control room. My wife's press a mofa ambulance a bimbe constituency me and yani nano mofa bimbe can hona yamwa and co and jigana for a torrent matuom. The fall arrived and are also happily attending to Now, my who say omu nina ba omu jimrika e ba be kun aji e ye ye nyamba ye nyamba ye mana ato rencha matu tu omu no another gentleman lying there has what we call the visceration with the lungs gushing out now ye she e ye be bia ambulance wo be bre ya bo dompi ma wani ya ne abri ya wo kun aji nina abranti ya no ka ne bo no no e pa ye ne ye funu e ma ne nsunu ni nina e pie and so we see the personnel happily attending to them Using the occlusive dress, three-sided occlusive dressing. Na ebani sa ambulance forward jumedia wobedia wobe kranio mana APN ni njina yenye nsuno no na wati mi yenye njina fefesu na wadi wana ko ayarisabi ya koko ajiwam. So in such situations, the critically wounded patient is who is transported first to the nearest hospital.
And then we see the driver who ran into the mob, confused as he is, runs into a tree, and is also stuck behind the vehicle. Now, Yehun say, "Eh, Papa, now no so the car ni be chifa om so no ambulance phone so ko wa wa bua no se ne be ya no so na po mudin no ebe si su ye." In such situations, when people come around, they would want to help, but at the end, they cause further injuries. But the ambulance have been personnel right. have been trained in a special way just to get them out of the car. In, to, to, in order to prevent further injuries. Now, say in your ambulance for you, you hear Papa no can you now honor to one bopa and a walk one driver no, Nemon Saka Timmy Mufone Koya won him in the air, and come home prewom, walk or trino, walk or tenisa, walk or any or by a monchi monchi, a baby as any abo now so near do them. So, Your Excellency, the first patient is being transported away. Now, if you want to know, go on in your papa, na na ne koko ebu aguma na hrawa no dumpe ne vrema moja nyu no no one yeni a wodi kanya wode ne ko. As they keep on attending to the rest of the patients. Please reassure your patients. Now, wogusu ebu a wana akano se ni ayehu no. So we see others sustaining head injuries. Now, yehu se ba kunsu niti ena apaya wawa na fua papa ne ne mami na oye EMT no wadi ni oma echi tree niti abuwa na pomo ding. And there's some fractures as well. Now, ebinsu ene mu ebubu. So we see that in such situations, the neck is stabilized just to prevent further injuries to the spine. Now, yehu ne eko su woye ni mu tinya wadi adi eche ne me se ne be ya ne tree dumpe ne huato chimano ebe buwa no na engine se mu. And so the ambulance personnel quickly attend to these patients and then carry them straight to the hospital, Your Excellency. Right, so, so we see one also lying there lifeless. We we'll see what happens to that one in the ensuing series. Make sure you set line when you get to the ambulance, okay? So a blunt head is also covered so on this patient. Who is shivering, meaning he's running into shock and could run out any moment from now. Now, you're here, you're not, and you're not here now. They say, I'm a war at the end of the because this new home soon, China, and you go up on thing in the ambulance for them to mark a tiny home. I walk on Ajina or also what person will pay down on our then also call Ayal Sabia. So, all these patients or casualties, Your Excellency, would be attended to and then taken to the hospital for further treatment. Now, ambulance for the two on Bui in the Panim Aqua Aqua, Senebea, what do you will be a Bacoya Sabia, Naposo Naposo, Na and Qua and Yahuadim Beomu? And then the one lying lifeless would be handed over to the police because the ambulance does not carry dead bodies. Now, you hear you and I, young Kona, and Bripemono, will be you maybe our own Ia de Betuga. So the personnel are still attending to the patients, Your Excellency. Say, you hear, I can't, I had it for me and say, ah, we'll go so, eh, you want to do my, and you will go so. Have you done proper assessment on her? All right. Please so this casualties of victims have been adequately attended to. Okay. Yes, in pre pre ambulance for no ebo homo dia ni aka ni nyina wo ko agi wona pomo din e won peso ya ni su nyina. And all will be adequately catered for. Now your friends are ambulance in the co hospital la. What the one ko to wa wa sign ba e be ko agi wona aka ni nyina. Wo fre ye telephone e 112 na emwa national ambulance service e be da na agi no bebre na wo de bebre won because timely care really saves lives. Now one and so others are being assisted onto the ambulance. Now ambulance And whilst going to the hospital, continuous care is also administered to these victims. Now say ambulance for you in the morning, you know, we have a baby at Rancho Mnesina. We are raw on car, Nima. A hona wa two ambo. A year ni a omo friend no head to toe. If you need to go see Nina, I say wa two ambo. If you feel mu baby mu, if you say at Rancho Mno mu wahano, and no kwa na atono. Ana say ebi wa wa wenhu. Say nebe ya wadu ya sabia. We betu di ya ma doctor for akon aje one apomo deno. So still the victims are being evacuated, Your Excellency. So the last person leaves the field. So the persons are still busily attending to the victims. 
Na ye hu se ambulance for no e ka bom e yire won ho se ne wo betimi aye a wo bekon age won na sesi a ka na torenchem ni si no ye hu sa fe de wo gani nyina ama aye a police for won so e de wan share so de e susu ka ne tie se ne omo so mra ne tie no na free ha ko no ka no any driver na sem de e no wo a police for sem so a gentleman rushes onto the scene having heard of the accident na ye hu sa brant e bi aba wo di mrika ne number bi a torenchem ne si no Apparently, his wife was in, in this group. Now, who say and Sebe were free mono. You see, personnel try to calm him down. Yeah, ambulance for now, but we are going to say Now, BBI be Abuano. But he's desperate and in shock. Because his wife has passed on. So in that state, he collapses. Currently, the EMTs are compressing his heart just to restart his heart. This is what we call cardiopulmonary resuscitation, which is CPR. And we see another machine lying there just to help in restarting the heart, which is called the automated external defibrillator. Now, you say ambulance for the machine be at war, and on a edit to me, and I. This is to send electronic waves to restart the heart. He's compressing the chest 30 times with two breaths given. Now, what yes, I will be Miani Kokunosa and pray at the Asan 30. Now, what in Framafa and Minimusu Mianu a year two times. Looks like the victim is coming too. Now, why are you here? Why are you here? And pray 32 and now at the assign any menu, sir, five times. Currently, we see the police also attending to the one who passed on. Now, you say a police for so a year one juma pa, a war papa na or no so an amina or free mono, while guano also the also a call, baby a day near a female call. So the chest compression is still going on, Your Excellency. Young Gusu Emia. Aya machine on the Jafemono, Obey, so be at your senior Muhono. Now, Ombemia, Omamia Fanimo, and here for your own step, Papa, no airborne, one, Mummy, and West Mambulas for Noya de Pa. And get him quickly to hospital. Well done. The patients has come to Papa, no, Asia Banquemu. And he's been reassured, and oxygen is being administered. Now, it's answer, baby, I'll call you and I can't walk a crane to know yet the Druben, Atunimo, I am money from Aka Crab, one, a coma, no, and Homiano. And that this patient is also sent to the hospital. So in summary, this is what we goes on in our various stations in our quest to save lives. As we say, timely care really saves lives. So before we go, we want to acknowledge our CEO. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause to the Ghana Ambulance Service and the EMT unit for their demonstration right before us on the kind of services they will be offering across the length and breadth of this country. As they wrap up, let me remind you that shortly, His Excellency the President will speak to us. When he is done, he will ceremonially commission one of the ambulances after which the ambulances will depart the Black Star Square for the 275 constituencies. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Simulation exercise for multiple casualty exercise over. Ten casualties involved. Three with life-threatening conditions, six with other various injuries, with one dead. All casualties transported to hospital and the dead handed over to the MTPD Department of the Ghana Police Service. Emergency Medical Technician Al Hassan Mohamed Mashoud reported, May I have your permission to fall out, Mr. President? Thank you very much, EMT. Thank you, your team. Let's give them a big round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to hear from the bearer of the vision, the President of the Republic, Nana Adodankwa Akufuadu. Let's receive him with a round of applause. Mr. Vice President,
Chief of Staff at the Office of the President, Greater Accra Regional Minister, Minister for Health, Minister for Special Development Initiatives, Ministers and Deputy Ministers of State, Member of Parliament for Clote Kole constituency and other Members of Parliament, Municipal Chief Executive for Clote Kole Municipality, Chief Executive Officer of the National Ambulance Service, the President of the Greater Accra Regional House of Chiefs, Niosu, the Acting President of the Gao Traditional Council, Nio Tublohun, Ni Senpe, Ni Me, Name, and other traditional rulers, the Dean and members of the Diplomatic Corps, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really happy that finally this day has come to meet us. It is the day the Lord has made, and we should rejoice in it. This ceremony is a very good way to begin the year, and I extend my appreciation to the Minister for Special Development Initiatives, Honorable Mavis Howard Kumson, Member of Parliament for Utu Senya East, and the Minister for Health, Honorable Kwaku Ajima Menu, Member of Parliament for Doma Central, for the dynamism and hard work they have exhibited in bringing it to fruition. Ladies and gentlemen, good health is fundamental to all we do and hope to do. Access to quality health care is hence a right enshrined in our national constitution. However, this constitutional right can best materialize if we are able to guarantee the presence of pre-hospital emergency services in all parts of the country. With the National Ambulance Service having 130 stations and 10 regional control rooms across the country, it was sad to note that when I took office in January 2017, the service had only 55. As though this was not enough, the 30 were declared, quote, not fit for purpose because they had cardinal defects and did not come with any medical equipment, unquote. This was completely unacceptable, and my government was determined to rectify this unhappy state of affairs. It is appropriate that the National Ambulance Service, established in the year 2004, under the new Patriotic Party-led government of that outstanding Ghanaian statesman, the second president of the Fourth Republic, His Excellency John Ajakum Kufu, is re-equipped, retooled, and revamped under another MPP-led government, this time of President Nana Adodankwa Akufu Adi. Today, I'm glad to be presenting to the Ministry of Health 307 brand new state-of-the-art ambulances fitted with advanced life support equipment and tracking devices to be distributed to 275 constituencies, that is one constituency, one ambulance, to be managed by the National Ambulance Service and the remainder of 32 ambulances to the headquarters of the service. As a result, this means that as against the scenario whereby one ambulance served approximately 524,000 people at the end of 20, December 2016, today we have a much improved ratio of one ambulance serving approximately 84,000 people people. Additionally, in the course of the year, 145 new ambulance stations will be created, bringing the total to 275 stations, ensuring that we have a one constituency, one ambulance station situation. 
We promised in the 2016 MPP manifesto to strengthen the National Ambulance Service, and we're doing just that. Ladies and gentlemen, government is committed to ensuring the realization of an effective emergency medical service EMS system to help improve our country's emergency response capabilities. The simulation exercise undertaken a few months ago is proof of the preparedness and readiness of our emergency medical technicians through the efficient use of these ambulances to help save lives. Having augmented the fleet of the ambulance service, I am aware of the other challenges confronting the service, such as inadequate staff, relatively non-existent dispatch system, the lack of a dedicated source of funding, and inadequate infrastructure, and the paramedic and emergency care training school, the only paramedic and emergency care training school in West Africa, located in Incan Castle, in the offensive law district of the Ashanti region. Government has already started working to address some of these challenges. Firstly, the Ministry of Finance has provided financial clearance for the National Ambulance Service to recruit and train 1,477 emergency medical technicians. Out of this number, 577 have already been recruited, with the, the process for recruiting the remaining 900 underway. Secondly, the National Ambulance Service Bill, which identifies funding sources for the National Ambulance Service, is currently before Cabinet. This will be forwarded to Parliament for consideration and enactment after cabinet approval, which should be granted shortly. Thirdly, government is provided a digitized state-of-the-art ambulance dispatch management system integrated with the National Digital Property Addressing System, whereby all calls to the ambulance service will be routed through a computer system which will automatically generate the digital address location of the caller to enable the control center determine straight away the nearest ambulance to dispatch. It will also allow the ambulance to determine easily the nearest healthcare facility suitable for the emergency. This system will also allow the ambulance when dispatched to navigate without difficulty using the dispatch system in the ambulance straight to the location of the caller. It will also provide interconnectivity among the various ambulance stations and the dispatch centers, as well as the dispatch centers and the receiving health facilities. Such a system will enhance the response time of the ambulances and thereby prevent, help improve patient outcomes. Fourthly, government has succeeded in getting a unique emergency number for all providers of emergency services in the country. In the past, the police service, the fire service, and the national ambulance service all had different emergency numbers. I'm happy to announce that thankfully, we have merged all the emergency numbers to one number, which is 112. For any form of emergency, for any form of emergency, either police service, fire service, or ambulance service, the number to dial on all mobile networks is 112. I would appeal that this improvement in the provision of emergency services be not abused. We are told that 90% of calls made to the providers of emergency services 
are usually prank calls. This is not right, as it only endangers the lives of Ghanaians in need. Government will ensure that the needed infrastructure is provided to the paramedic and emergency care training school at Inken Castle to help ensure that it serves its purpose of training paramedics in the country and West Africa and also serve as a refresher course center for emergency care training for doctors, nurses and other paramedics in the country and West Africa. I call upon all regional ministers, metropolitan, municipal and district chief executives as well as all health officials to provide the needed cooperation and support to make the operationalization of these ambulances a success and also ensure their satisfactory maintenance. The goal of this government is to establish in our country a strong, accessible health care system of world-class quality which will assure the health and well-being of our people. And I entreat all of you to be an integral part of this vision. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, Nime, Name, Nananom, I declare the 307 ambulances duly commissioned and ready for distribution. May God bless the members of the National Ambulance Service and us all. And may God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Let's give him a big round of applause, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. His Excellency the President will step forward onto the red carpet. He will be joined by his close friend and right-hand man, His Excellency the Vice President. The Minister responsible for Health will join them, and the Minister for Special Development Initiatives will also join. The four of them will make their way towards where the ambulances are parked. The Chief of Staff will join as well. They will make their way to where the ambulances are parked to cut the ribbon, and Reverend Father Andrew Campbell will say a prayer as we commission one as a symbolic gesture for the 307. We will remain and watch on the screens. We will remain and watch on the screens from wherever we are. Mr. President, we are informed that the very ambulance you will be entering is that of the whole west constituency the whole west constituency ambulance is that which is closest